this one was made by the Grand Rapids Band Instrument Company. They were the sister company of York, and they were well thought of horns in their own right. As a matter of fact, uh, Joe King Oliver, the great Dixieland player, once gave one of these models to uh, an up-and-coming young trumpeter named Louis Armstrong. So apparently they were very well thought of back in the day uh, by both Dixieland musicians and by uh, brass band players. Uh, as a matter of fact, this one comes with a very interesting mouthpiece from the brass band era. This is a Frank Simon signature model by the Holton Company. Uh, Frank Simon was the solo chair coordinator for John Philip Sousa. He took over the position when Herbert L. Clark retired in uh, 1917. So, very famous uh, musician in his own right. He wrote the old war horse tune, Willow Echoes. Some of you may have played that at one time or another. And uh, then in later life, he became the professor of brass at the Cincinnati Conservatory, where he taught a young trumpeter named Al Hurt. And uh, so it's an interesting choice of equipment. It also came with this fascinating little curio. This is a bottle of ancient valve oil. This is still about half full. It comes with a cork in the top. Uh, the label's still intact. It's Holton Clark valve oil. It says Holton Clark valve oil for all valve band instruments used freely. A teaspoonful poured into the mouth pipe occasionally will keep the instrument more sanitary. Uh, 25 cents by mail, 35 cents. Great old valve oil bottle. I'm including this if you buy the horn now. If you don't buy the horn now, if it goes on auction, I'm going to keep this for myself because it's kind of neat. But if you buy it now, you get it. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. Happy bidding. And thanks.